This here is a prenatal advisory. Don't let your children watch this video because it's got some gratuitous language and whatnot. What's up, RC enthusiasts? Welcome to Over This RC. In this video, we're going to engage in some serious redneckery on account I just finished this here mud trip. God dang, man. Look at that pretty girl. So let's head on over to that garage, man. I'll learn you how I built it. Captain's got to teach stuff. So I was going to use this AX8650, but... The chassis is not long enough for the body. So the K10 body won't mount to this because the chassis is shorter in the back and the body mounts, you know, don't match up to the body. So I just decided to take that big motor and trans out and put it in the TRX4M. So the next thing I'm gonna do is install these 59 millimeter shocks. They're much bigger than the original and should get this thing way up in the air. And I'm gonna go ahead and install this axle widening kit as well. As you can see, this is much wider axle. So that should really improve the stance of this truck. Okay, so I got this mocked up and I wanted you to see from, you know, scale point of view, just how large these tires are. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but these here are a 62 millimeter tire. And you can see like these front tires are just massive. That being said, to get body clearance and to make this truck look as huge and cool as I want it to, I've got to jack this thing up as far as possible. And that is creating some problems. As you can see, the drive shaft here is at a massive angle and it's causing some binding. And even jacked up as high as it is right now, I'm still going to be getting rubbing just almost immediately as soon as I start to flex. Also, the farther the suspension drops down, the more this axle moves back. So to remedy all of that, I'm making a transmission mount. This is real similar to an actual mud truck um, transfer case mount. I'm gonna cut this out, attach it to the chassis rail, and then attach the transmission down here. That's gonna allow me to make it even taller while straightening out the drive line and the four link. All right, I've got my mounting bracket made. I'm going to make another one and then uh, get it mocked up and see if it works. Okay, so I fabricated this plate and brought the transmission uh, transfer case down. And it looked pretty good with the tire about right there, but let's face it, it's just not tall enough. And I flipped the shock tower and put it underneath the chassis rail. Now I think that's where I want it. So after making it even taller, I'm ending up with the same problem again here. The drive line is at too extreme of an angle. So I'm gonna have to redo these chassis plates. So I'm gonna pull this all apart again and cut some new chassis plates, put it back together, make sure it all works and drives and functions correctly. Then I'm gonna pull it apart again and paint it and do the finishing touches. To get something nobody else has got, you gotta be willing to do what nobody else will do. So I got the new chassis plates in. I got the shock towers flipped upside down, giving this thing a massive ride height. And man, it just looks insane. It's freaking awesome. So when I flip the shock tower upside down, of course it, you know, turns your ESC upside down. Uh, this is right where the bottom of the bed sits. So there's really no place to put the ESC now. Also, when I dropped the transmission down, you know, there's nowhere to bolt the battery tray to anymore. So what I'm gonna do is, to stiffen up the chassis rails here, I'm gonna make a, uh, a sheet metal piece that'll go here and I'll be able to mount the battery and the ESC to it. All right, so I got my battery and ESC tray cut, bent, and drilled. Now I just mount it on there like that. Yeah, that's done, it looks pretty sweet. Now I can get some sticky tape and mount the battery and the ESC on there. All right, so the fabrication is pretty much done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and break this thing down, get these parts painted. And while I've got it broken down, I'm gonna throw in overdrive gears in the front and the back to get these tires spinning as fast as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all that. Then I'll meet you guys out at the mud hole. All right, man, let's get our mud hole on. <laughs> Oh dang, this old tractor's rougher on my ass than a stucco bathtub. Got a sweet little bounty hole roundabout going. Go around there and come out there. 
Get a good look at this little sucker because it ain't never going to be this clean again. Let's see what this thing can do. That's freaking awesome. Man, look at that beast. What a freaking awesome little truck. Let's do it again. Wow, this sucks. Not sure what's up, but I've lost power. I just barely got a slow crawl on forward and it shuts down in reverse. Huh, not sure what's going on. Well, back to the shop. Gonna have to figure out what's wrong with this little guy. Man, what a bummer. Not sure what's going on here. Usually these brush motors don't have any trouble with the water. Um, it must have got something inside of it, so I'm gonna have to pull it apart and figure it out. So it turns out it has something to do with the Traxxas CSC not liking this motor. Maybe it's just too much power being sent. I can't handle it. Because when I hook it up to the AX8650, it uh, seems to be working fine. So I'll throw this ESC in there. And we'll get back down the mud hole. All right, we are back for round two, but I'm okay with that because I actually made a little obstacle course. First, you got a little rock pile here. Then you got a log we got to get over. Then you got some FMS and Panda Hobbies vehicles there doing the only thing they'll ever be good for, and that's working as speed bumps. All right, let's hit it. Ooh, and now we've blown out the transmission. Ooh, that don't sound good, do it. Wow, just like Joe Biden, I wish this thing would have worked out better, but it turned out to be a piece of shit that cost me time and money that I'll never get back. All joking aside, the AX8650 transmission blew out and it just couldn't hold up to the stress of these big tires and all that speed. For now, I'm gonna clean this thing off and stick it up on the shelf. And someday when I need some more heartache in my life, I'll pull it down and try to fix it. I got a lot of other crazy ideas coming up and you don't want to miss out on that, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Then tap the bell to get notified when I post my next video. But above all else, remember when you think RC, think O Brothers RC.